AF, we're on the move back with another one. Today, guys, we have the Olight Odin flashlight review. Let's take a moment of silence and make sure we, if we haven't subscribed yet to the channel, that we subscribe. That's how you can help support the channel. I appreciate all the support that you guys give. All right, let's get into it. Let's get into the specs of this. So I would consider the Olight Odin a budget flashlight on the lower end of prices in the flashlights. I mean, you got the cheap little Amazon ones for $39, but we all know those are trash, right? So, I mean, these are coming in at about $159 regular price. And you guys know there's always a flash shell at Odin. If you don't know, they have flash shells all the time where they have great deals. And make sure if you want to buy one and check out Olight products, there is a link at the bottom of the description. And if you buy something through that link, the channel is supported. All right. So we got here, we got max 200, 2000 lumens and with a throw of 300 meters. All right. We have four settings for the light levels. We have 300 lumens, 760 lumens, 1000 lumens and 2000 lumens. How long does those settings last for? Well, at 300 lumens, you get 24 minutes. At 760 lumens, you get 125 minutes. And then for 1,000 lumens, you get nine minutes. And for 2,000, you get two minutes at 2,000 lumens. And that's a 300 meter throw. We have 22,500 candelas. It's drop rated for one and a half meters impact and waterproof IPX8 rating. And it is 7.62 ounces with the battery included. All right. So speaking of the battery a little bit, the battery is rechargeable. Uh, it's a rechargeable battery through a USB and just attach to the magnet and plug it into USB. It's a pretty cool setup for the uh, recharge and the light lasts forever. I have, I think I've charged this thing maybe once since I've had it. Okay, so it lasts a pretty good time for the battery. All right, so let's get into the actual light. So the one thing I will talk about, my setup is a little bit different than the default out of the box. And what's different about it is that I did change out the flashlight mount. All right. So the cool thing about this mount is that it fits any Surefire Scout mount. And the Surefire Scout mount is a really, really popular uh, Surefire flashlight. It's a popular flashlight. So there are many, many third party uh, mounts for it. So this mount, while it is awesome, I will say it's one of the better mounts that comes out of, with a flashlight. What it does, it slides in, you lock it in, you can unlock and take the flashlight off of it. So what you can do if you had it on your light and you want to decide to use the light for something else, take it off your rifle or your pistol, you could take it off and put it back on. The only reason I took it off is because if you look at the space in between, it's, it's a red, look how tight that is. On here, I now have an Arasaka defense mount, scout mount. It brings it very close to the gun. You can't even get your finger between here. You can get one finger in between here. With this mount on, you can almost get two fingers this way in between. Uh, it's very far away from the gun. Uh, so I didn't like that, so I switched that out. The Arasaka defense mount is an awesome mount. If you guys want to check it out on their website, they also have it on Amazon some other places. All right. So let's get into the flashlight. One thing I like about this is the, the control for the push button control on the other side. This here comes off pretty easy, magnetic. Same way you charge it, the charging looks kind of like that. I have it somewhere. I didn't bring it down. Lock that in. It will not come off. You can pull this thing all day and it will not come off. Pull it back, unlock it, comes right off. I think in the earlier models, they didn't lock and they had a lot of issues with it coming off, but that issue has been fixed. All right. So other thing I like about this is that the cord is not too long. Um, I guess there are options out there you can use. A lot of people zip tie the cord to the rail. Me personally, um, I run it over the top and it really doesn't get in my way. Uh, so I just haven't zip tied it because I don't like extra stuff on my gun. That's just me. For you, you can run it underneath, something like that, zip tie, whatever you want to do to secure it. But for me, it's not a problem. So here you got the controls on this side. If you 
hold it down you get a temporary let it go tap it constant works pretty good I like it haven't had any issues with it very easy to install I bought a little cheap rail off Amazon I think it was a five uh, five slot rail I believe five slot rail your yeah, five slot rail and you just push it on like that pretty easy I keep cutting my light on here uh, before $119 I think this might be the best light on the market for the price point um, if you guys got any questions make sure you leave it in the comments and next time we'll be back with another one until next time AF we're on the move appreciate all your support make sure you go down and check the link